Alright, what's going on? It is time for another video giving you guys the 411 on Dying Light. And of course, I'm talking about the Enhanced Edition. Now, I'm going to explain what this actually is and everything you need to know about it as far as from the ground up up until the day of its actual release. So, let's get into this video and let you guys know exactly what to expect how to get it if you already have it coming to you if you need to buy it what you need to buy to actually get it and all of that fine stuff so let's get into the video okay let's start out with what this actually is dying light enhanced edition is actually another version of dying light which you can consider game of the year edition now what makes it a little bit different than most game of the editions is that it actually contains new dlc content now of course the following is part of this dlc content but that's not just it the following is for anybody who has a season pass of the vanilla version of dying light however if you download the following whether you pay the 20 dollars for it separately or you pay for the dlc pass you get the enhanced edition of dying light free from the developers over at techland okay so now that we established techland is pretty damn dope for doing this Let's get into the full details. Okay, so on February 9th, this DLC will become available. Also, if you do not purchase this DLC, the following I'm talking about, or have a season pass, you still get the enhanced edition of the vanilla version of Dying Light. Now, what that means is you get a bunch of new tweaks and add-ons to the game. Now, besides DLC, there's all kinds of enhancements. So let's just break it down and tell you what you get if you actually buy the enhanced edition hard copy okay so if you buy the hard copy that releases on february 9th you get the season pass included and every update that was made to the game along with that you get a bunch of new stuff like the nightmare difficulty which is a harder difficulty for the game new npc models new parkour moves you get video filter customizations for your hud new enemy attacks and ai behavior audio upgrades, gameplay quality improvements for the consoles, human and enemy AI improvements, greater firing arm variation, enhanced facial expressions, improved volatile AI, and last but not least, you get a system called the Legendary System, which upgrades your character past level 50. If you beat the original version, you know that's where it capped out at. So now you can go from 50 to 250 levels in this game and of course for legendary once you hit that mark where you start becoming legendary there's an actual skill tree separate from the original three that you were used to having that you can start upgrading as you gain levels now that's pretty damn cool now of course along with all of those upgrades you get you get the following and with the following you get new volatiles you get new skills you get daily challenges you get a vehicle that can be customized to have things added to it like flamethrowers, remote electrical detonators, and all kinds of things to traverse through the land. Of course, you have this new thing called daily challenges where they give you something to do in the game. They keep you coming back. Now, this originally was not in the original Dying Light. So seeing this here gives you activities, sort of like what you may see in a game like GTA. This is something that a lot of open world games do to keep these games active and alive. And it's good to see that they gave you a reason to keep your copy of Dying Light and to keep playing. So with that being said, let's get into the following a little bit further. Now the following is the latest expansion to the game. And by expansion, they do mean that in every sense of the word. The game is actually roughly 20 hours worth of content. Now this is from the creators themselves. So 20 hours is pretty decent. I guess that's if you do all of the side quests and things of that nature. Now this is probably gonna make this game really, really much more interesting. And the fact that at a minimum, if you already own the game, this is gonna cost you $20. Or if you have a season pass, this is actually just, they're giving this to you. This is amazing. So hopefully I answered all of you guys' questions or if you had any concerns about what was going on with Dying Light. There is going to be an enhanced edition of the game for those of you who never brought it. This is the year one edition. 
or the game of the year edition that you guys should probably be looking to get with all of the DLC plus some bells and whistles that were pretty much added into the game now of course if you already have the game this is a free download even if you do not have a season pass so you still win either way you still get the legendary mode you still get all of that stuff to keep you playing the game without any of the season pass DLC content so once again this is why Techland is one of my favorite new companies out there because of stuff like this this is amazing. It's your boy Jimmy B Game, and hopefully this video was helpful and setting you guys on the path. Of course, if you guys do play Dying Light and you want to play with me, my game attacks will be in the description below. I'm out of here. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Peace.